Valen? Nope, no can oh, do. Just um, sweating through it. After the newscast, though, we're going to have some jerseys on the wall. We'll do hey. some green screen lessons. Yeah, wow. so you can see how you can't just control the weather and say, all right, 62, there you go, we're done. Less uh, of a typo. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, it's called wish casting. But uh, the forecast calling for more 90s here today. We've got some isolated activity in parts of the coastal bend, more shower activity offshore. Uh, the wettest part so far of the viewing area has been up around sea drift into Port Lavaca. That's starting to quiet down now, though. We've had a few passing showers in Corpus Christi overnight, so some of the roads may be uh, showing a hint of that rain, but it's rain free right now. You can see some clouds off in the distance. Uh, the top of one of those showers you can see way off in the Gulf of Mexico, but fairly quiet 79. Lots of humidity. Winds are calm right now, and the reason we're starting to see these isolated sea breeze variety showers has to do with the high pressure feature that had its grip over Texas for the last two or three weeks. It's now kicking off to the west near the Four Corners region. That's what's allowing some of this tropical moisture to work in. There's also a little tropical wave right in here. It's hard to see on the water vapor. It's not very organized, but it's off of the Texas Mexico border that is going to swing up into Louisiana this weekend. That's where the bigger rains are going to be had between Houston and New Orleans. Meantime, we're just going to see those daily ice isolated showers through the weekend. So the inches will fall in Louisiana. The tenths of inches will fall in the coastal bend and the weather guidance is only printing around a quarter of an inch of rain. And keep in mind, this is a three day total. So it's not going to be impressive. It's not going to be drought busting types of rainfall here, but at least we'll have these passing isolated showers through the weekend. The other tropical system out there is between Miami and the Bahamas. It's a tropical wave and this one has a better shot to develop about 50 50 on its possibility of developing sometime over the next five days, but this system will not be a threat for the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to have these isolated sea breeze showers. They work inland during the afternoon, so morning chances for rain near the coast, afternoon chances for rain as you get into the brush country. Highs will be in the mid 90s, and we do that again here for tomorrow with the isolated shower activity along the sea breeze front. General timeline for these, you know, this isn't like an end all be all thing where it only happens this way, but typically through the morning hours near the coast and then the sea breeze works in, carries the activity out to between 281 and 77 by noontime. And then in the afternoon, they swing farther into the brush country and that's where they kind of die off as the sun sets. We see that activity go away today. 95. If you don't find yourself under one of those showers, Sorry, partly cloudy, otherwise hot and humid. The heat index up to 106 this afternoon and a southeast wind 8 to 18 miles per hour. Tonight, 79, very sticky feeling out there. I like to call it air you can wear when it's humid like it is here. Just doesn't feel that good outside, but uh, that's what we got. Mid 90s here through the weekend with some isolated showers day to day. That rain chance goes down into early next week and it's back to the hot, humid look to the forecast uh, with rain chances trending down. Unfortunately, John Thomas, Kristen mm. Allen.